The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The Overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. Thomas has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge? We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself, that after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. This should get me in the front door at least. Looks like I'll need to check in with those guards by the gate. Time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. 
The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits, understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it. Someone will hear you. And it wasn't easy with the Empress around. She'd hold inspections with the Royal Protector trailing after her. I wish we'd taken care of him. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack Jaw and his Bottle Street voice jump. Hold on. Someone's supposed to be Present it for her! Don't make... Guard! For me! Take it! Where are you? Aha! Assassin, help! Come on, please! Lizzie's tried. She's in rough shape. Wake up, Lizzie. I'm not telling shit. Wait. Who? Doubt. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now belongs to someone else. My second-in-command double-crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Pull that lever. It'll undo the shackles. Down. I think I... Oh. I'll have to carry her out. She's beaten, but not dead. You better wound the attention. It will be. Ready to go, sir. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place and the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently. And whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Draper's Ward ain't yours! We got here first! Bring out the- Lee, we're missing the boil party. Luxury. 
sitting next to the river. Canal, at least. Just wait to be taken. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But... The following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. What? Surprising me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Coldridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over. And when the music stops, we all fall down. Piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. What's the password? are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal.
Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Stride's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. Is it worth it to me the day I found her? Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Easer here says you're in luck. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow and not one of them came back. But what stopped them will be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. Here's the key to the sewer entrance. And it's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves, as long as you keep your end of the bargain, Dowd. I was looking for my little boy. He's not a Hello? You're not a weaver, are you? Hans dies. I think my knees hurt. I think I can walk if you'll just help me up. Are you alright? Oh, sir. Thank you for finding me. It's been awful. There are such terrible things down here. But nothing as terrible as I. See your men again. Easy says a deal's a deal. The code is. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brickmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery.
I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing. But I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. Please. No. Don't make me eat anymore. What happened to you? I denounce. I denounce the oracles. The oracles. They, they saw. The Colvin girl is the key. The girl of the painting. Where's Delilah? I, I, oh, oh. She's begun the final phase. Then she's in the void already. Yes, it won't be long now. All of our patience and work will be rewarded. But what happened to Melina? Is she... Don't worry. She made them pay first. And who might this be, I wonder? You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention.
see what you've really got, Delilah. flows, blood flows, life goes, out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in these bones long enough. I'll find you. I will not be beaten. Curse you all. I will not. No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.